so berat oh. Wih, asyik baik tak jatuh lagi batik you all Hi, Assalamualaikum So, um, today will be my last day Last day My last day with Ispak Just for that reason I'm gonna be making cake batik Batik cake, cake batik Whatever it is um, Simply because it's like the simplest thing I know it doesn't rep rep represent Represent Malaysia At any point or any way But yeah, I'm just gonna be making that Because it's like the simplest thing I've actually started making like One batch of it This was the first batch And obviously that's not enough because it's like only the size of my palm so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna make another one another batch um yeah um by all means this is not a tutorial on how to make it batik because people know how to make it batik mine isn't probably that good anyway but yeah this is gonna be a video of me making it batik for my last day of work with this pack let's go so basically what you're gonna need is uh, Milo, cocoa powder, Mary, Mary, <laughs> biscuit Mary, um, butter and sweet, sweetened condensed milk. I always have that problem, I don't know mana satu is susu sejat, mana satu susu bukan, mana satu yang cair dengan bukan. And then it just occurred to me that evaporated is a jet in English. So obviously itulah susu cair. I, I remember because evaporated because it's R, so it's that cair, cair. That makes any sense. That does not make sense. Oh yo, aku Okay, now that our quali is um, uh, washed and dusted. All right. So what we're gonna do is we are going to pasang api, of course. This is the thing with making it batik is that I never know how to control the fire, fire, control the heat. So sometimes I would actually use a bit of heat. And then halfway through, I macam okay, tak payah pakai api. So I try to tutup je api. And then suddenly I rasa macam, oh, tiba-tiba macam tak masak apa-apa. So let's just put on api. But it's really up to you. I googled like buttercup punya uh, portion in Malaysia. And then it was 250 gram. Or 225 gram, the standard butter spread. Size of butter spread. But this one is like... The one I have here is like 500 gram. What I did was I cut it into four parts so i use like um a quarter of it for the first batch and the second batch is going to use the other quarter so i'm gonna use like half of it like only half for two batch of kebati which is nice so I'll just let it like chai for a while but at the same time because you don't want it to like burn only one side of it because you're making like you're just melting the butter instead of Making birth noise. This is how you do it. This is how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. This is how I do it. Kalau you malas nak kacau macam I. And the next thing you're gonna need is the susu pekat, which is sweetened condensed milk. And you don't have to wait for the butter to fully melt. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna put in the milk. Oh my god, this is dangerous. All right, let's just put that in. And then once that um the condensed milk are in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna like kacau it for a bit. Ya Allah susahnya pakai tangan kiri. Allah. So, I pakai um, non-stick pen tau, non-stick walk. Sebab tu I tak pakai the other part of the... Um, tak pakai hujung ni so that it doesn't scratch the surface. And your api just kecil je lah. I biasa buat dalam microwave. Eh, microwave jadahnya. I biasa buat dalam rice cooker. But, sebab rice cooker orang, I tak ada rice cooker sini. So, the butter now, you have to melt it lah. If not, dia akan jadi berketul. One thing that you should remember to do is that when you are mixing the butter and the condensed milk, salah, tadi I masukkan coklat tu sebenarnya. Tak apa. Doesn't matter. So, the butter is um, excess the oil for this thing. So, if you don't kacau the bawah part, what is going to happen is that your milk is going to burn. And you don't want that. So, you have to make sure that you kacau the bottom part so that... Um, because the oil is going to the atas because oil is lighter than milk. Condensed milk, but to super cut. So, yeah, you have to kacau and make sure that it does not burn. Ya tak tahu lah sebenarnya ada, ada seorang hasmat kat rumah ni Tak tahu kalau dia dengar Macam apa benda kau cakap sama seorang Tapi dia tutup pintu dah Harap dia tak dengar lah Kalau dia dengar hmm, Malu And by the way 
this <laughs> this thing is my hand okay so i pegang i pegang i'm holding the camera in a very awkward position because like i'm not using my gopro i'm using my phone to record because i'm allowed to go gopro once your butter dah melted macam ni what you're gonna do is you're going to put in the milo so milo i tinggal sikit ni but i have another one Oi. i have another one yang tak buka lagi so yeah i'm gonna put that in biasanya i akan pakai dua sendok sendok besar lah but because I kat sini, I malas nak keluarkan sendok. Semua malas. So, I pakai sudu kecil ni je. At first, the LTAP was like 10. And then, I still tak cukup. Sekali dia kelakar. And then, I put 15. Still tak cukup. And then, lastly, I bought 21. 21 of this small sudu. Dia punya quantity pun tak consistent. So, macam, ramadhan dah kalau orang tengok colour dia dah pekat lah. Okay lah tu. Okay, so this one is nice colour. So, what we're going to do is we are going to put in the Milo. Macam, ni kan I ada stand sebenarnya tapi tak tahu mana so Mana nak cari Takpelah Tak tengah nak masukkan Milo Suddenly this thing started to boil lah oh, You don't want it to boil really While well, you put, you're you putting in Like um, the stuffs Because you don't want it to burn on one side So what you can do is Just kacau Kacau at first Berhenti masukkan barang kerja And then kacau Or The other solution That you can do Is that Nampak ni Mati kunjung terapi Okay, dah tak ada api lah. Kan dah tak boiling. So, usually I can like kacau it in between so that it doesn't actually macam sekali banyak macam ni sebab sekali banyak macam ni nanti you susah nak nak uh, sebatikan dia. Sebab dia akan jadi betul. Dia akan jadi begitu dulu So Don't make this, this mistake Tapi tadi sebab I malas So now just kacau 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 And then if you think the colour is not the right colour Because I I like it to be like really dark If it's not the right colour Then just campur lagi lah Some more uh, Milo But you're going you're going to be putting in like some cocoa powder So it, it doesn't really matter Oh gitu Okay kacau lah sampai dia jadi macam dodol Dulu yang licin Okay, once you see the mixture macam dah ni Nampak tak? Oh, Allah, cepat tak jatuh dah Okay, now this is why you use a non-stick pen So that it doesn't stick to your pen Then, look at that Next thing we're going to do is You're going to put in Cocoa powder This thing, cocoa powder, belilah Brand apa pun uh, Ni pems punya sebab dia boleh murah Because you know, it's good code I'm going to put in like One spoon, I think Sorry, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. And then, I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, don't let go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. And I'm going to go to the next one. So, I'm just going to go to my mother father. So, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next Alhamdulillah okey je. So hopefully yang ni pun okey jugalah sebab so, I pakai ingredients daripada tempat lain kan. This thing dah jadi macam ni. Eh mana senduk? Okay. Macam macam ni you kacau. Sampai dia fully mixed. And then after that you masukkan biskut Mary. Mary. And then the cocoa powder also acts as like a macam balancing agent. Sebab dia macam pahit. And then dia masukkan dengan Milo and susu bekat and stuff. So, dia jadi macam a bit balance lah. Okay. So I pakai yang ni. I pernah juga buat pakai um, half biskut Mary biasa, or the original one and the other the other half adalah makok. Mako. I masukkan sikit um, like coffee ke chocolate flavoured biskut Mary. Sedap juga. Tapi biskut Mary tu yang sangat nipis. I tak tahu brand apa. Tapi biskut kat Malaysia lah. But this one ni first time sahaja I buat kat sini. So ni. Pakai ni lah. Alright. And I know a lot of people they ada cara masing-masing untuk memasukkan Wah panas Memasukkan biskut Mary Cara air adalah Pakai tangan je Sebab aku pasal lah tangan siap-siap And then Masukkanlah biskut tu Alright so ada orang Dia akan like Ambil biskut Letak dalam plastik Or mangkuk and stuff And then pecahkan dulu I like lot this year Pecahkan dulu And then baru Masukkan Macam air malas So what you can do is Just open this up Make sure your hands are washed This is when You pecahkan It's just pegang ni And then Hold in the middle And then belakang pun In the middle And then just press it So 
one step pak dah masuk jangan mas terus masukkan tiga sebab saya kan saya cakap pakai tiga tadi kan jangan masukkan terus tiga masuk satu satu ini kacau anu macam nak kacau kereta sendiri ni kereta kan kan pakai kereta kan pada purpose of the video tak yah pakai api apa nampak eh terus kacau macam tu nak masukkan terus three packs pun boleh and then baru kacau tapi macam dia akan dia terlalu banyak nanti penat nak kacau sekarang akan masuk ke sini mana so just masuk ke semua sekali and I keep looking at the screen instead of the camera sorry I don't see that really. now that that like the biscuits are all in kacau dia sampai dia sebati sebati sangat tak tahu lah kalau nampak apa kalau minta macam ni sekejap the biscuit was that tadi patut ni masa dia panas tu I terus kacau tau and then I can beri masuk banyak-banyak apa tu lepas tu Abi akan dia sejuk And suara cincin sejuk So macam dia cepat Sejuk So dia jadi macam Keras lah Dia mixture So sekarang I macam susah Nak kacau Dia macam effort lebih sikit So do it while it's hot Like If this happens You just, you just have to Pasang sikit api And then Let it melt a little bit and Then nak kena cair sikit Tapi jangan banyak sangat Nanti dia akan bakar bawah tu Dia hangit di bawah tu And then Just sambung kacau Dan Dia macam dah Like fully mixed Nampak tak Nampak Rupanya macam sedih sikit And in the camera I can see In the screen I can see that Dia macam Yang korang nampak lah hitam Instead of chocolate It's very sad looking But hopefully it's good lah Macam ni ha Dia dah mixed everything Macam korang dah tak nampak Sangatlah putih-putih ni Adalah sikit kan Tanya yang ni dah mixed dah Tapi bila The Bila the butter Macam uh, Apa Apa Kena, I tak tahu lah macam ni Tapi macam dia bergerak sendiri lah I suka dia macam terendam sekejap Because Biar dia macam lembut-lembut sikit Tapi jangan Jangan lembut sangat Make sense tak? That's macam sumber term Sampai kali ni tak make sense But yes We're done Lepas tu kita akan masukkan Atau apa And we're done Now that everything Dia macam dah mix I dah biarkan sekejap tadi So what we're gonna do Is we're going to put it Ya Allah Rendah We're going to put it Inside this bekas lah Tak lama kat eh Berat So berat oh. Wee Asyik baik tak jatuh lagi batik you all Depan ni dah ada kek batik Haa uh, kau Sebab jatuh tu lah Alhamdulillah By the way Aku pakai dua jam pun Kan semalam sejuk Sebenarnya sekarang dah tak sejuk sangat pun Tapi tak nak buka So dia macam Extra bulgy Alasan, ni memang naik berat pun okay, So kita letakkan dalam Tepu yang ni Okay Ya Allah Dah jatuh Tak tahulah nampak ke tak, memang tak nampak lah Tepu yang tu kan Macam mana boleh nampak tepu Allah Buka siapa ni Lah tak lah, tak tahu buka siapa Haa, dah nampak dah Tak lah bekas Berat Cara terata kan sikit Benda keras ni ha? Macam mana Tak tahu Rasa macam ni salah Terlebih ke Apa tadi Kalau kita nak dia macam Balance Apa ni Kita Letak lah sekali Dan dua kas So that Yang belah bawah tu Nanti dia akan macam Terbahagi kepada dua So belah bawah tu Biasanya is like The part yang Paling banyak coklat Oh, dia sedap kat lah gunanya Usually, you have to like tekan a bit So that dia macam tak lah banyak sangat Rorong kosong Tapi saya malas <laughs> Tak suka buat macam tu, so nanti biskut tu hancur So, bila biskut tu hancur, dia macam berdebu-debu Bila berdebu-debu, dia macam tak nyantik Tak tak nyantik, macam tak Tak tahu lah Tak apa, tak tahu, tak tahu Tahu korang tak nampak apa yang apa-apa kan Macam shot sendiri record <laughs> Sorry lah Saya tak reti lah buat benda ni Okay Dah siap Dah ah sakit Krem jari <laughs> Okay berhati sambil krem jari kau Over Macam tu 
Siaplah kita punya dua batch ah. Okay, kalau nak tahu korang punya kek batik tu jadi ke tak Korang rasa ni Nampak tak ni Kat kuali tu kan ada kan Masa dah habis mix sebelum masukkan biskut Mary tu rasa benda ni Cepat so, coklat ni Kek batik tu actually dia Based on that The taste of that lah juga So kalau benda tu jadi Your Kek batik akan jadi If not Then <laughs> Siap Empat batch Empat batch pula Dua batch So Satu, dua, tiga Empat Disebabkan tadi dia punya <coughs> Kek batik dia macam berjerawat Bukan jerawat Macam Sedih sangat rupa dia Saya so, buat topping Topping dia ni macam ni So I buat another batch Of topping Which is macam okey lah Kot Tak tahu lah okey ke tak dia, dia sebenarnya sama je Dia punya Ingredients dengan tadi Except kita tak letak Biskut Mary Honestly tak tahu lah jadi ke tak Sebab Kalau kat Malaysia biar je Kek batik tu macam Betul-betul Tapi Kasi orang tak biasa kalau dia tengok macam apa benda budak ni buat Jadilah dia macam kek sikit kalau letak macam ni Tapi kalau dia tak kena sama-sama juga Jadi aneh juga kan <coughs> Tak apalah Tu buatlah apa yang termampu Sekarang ni tu aku tak cukup lagi Tapi emang lah nak buat lah Final product dia, dia jadi macam ala-ala Rocky Road Macam <laughs> tu nampak tak Dah siap Tiba kan Okay Hmm Itulah I'll See you in whatever video That I'm gonna post Next Assalamualaikum Bye